Hi, my name's Alison Smith and I'm a Digital Change Manager at Blackburn with Darwin Borough Council. I'd like to share with you today our digital approach to our localised test trace and isolate service. I'm going to talk you through a presentation. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. During 2020, Blackburn and Darwin Borough Council were at the forefront of the response to the COVID-19 pandemic. A range of deprivation factors contributed to a high volume of positive COVID-19 cases in the borough, placing the council at the front and centre of this national challenge for a very sustained period of time. Early in the pandemic, we believed we could play a hugely important role in delivering contact tracing services and supporting our local communities. We felt that local provision led by local government and public health using technology and data to plan and prepare services would strengthen the national response, offering a community support framework that was dynamic and flexible with capacity to meet changing needs and demands over time. As the pandemic progressed, the NHS Test and Trace Service was established, which is a collaborative partnership between national and local public health experts. It relies on everyone with symptoms getting tested and providing detailed information on who they have come into contact with and then self-isolating to break the chain of transmission. For such a system to be effective, it needed to trace around 80% of contacts. Unfortunately, it was reported that only somewhere between 40 and 50% of contacts of known cases were being advised to isolate by the National Service. In light of this, and in response to rising rates of COVID-19 in our borough, the Council established a local TTI service in July 2020, and we were amongst the first in England to do so. Our aim was to develop a local TTI service, collating and utilising intelligence to predict and prevent outbreaks. We needed to focus on population health and long term conditions in those most at risk of the infection from COVID-19 and also to provide easy access to additional holistic wraparound services. A key fundamental that underpins the TTI service was the designing of our support based on user needs and with a digital first focus. The Council had already embarked on an ambitious digital transformation programme since we signed the Digital Declaration in March 2019. We embraced the government's digital services standards and approach, driving forward change through our user-centric design using Agile principles. This was underpinned by our piloting of remote working, use of collaborative tools such as Microsoft's teams and upskilling our staff with agile service design and content design skills. With residents isolating and council buildings closed, there was a pressing need to track and manage the demand for services digitally. New processes and access channels were required to manage requests for help from citizens and share data with central government. We had completed procurement of our new digital platform for residents and we'd agreed a two year rollout plan. As COVID-19 hit, we needed to use this platform in new ways and explored how we could utilise this technology to support residents who may wish to communicate their needs for support online. Our first digital form designed was for businesses requesting financial support, which we released through our website. A number of online forms were quickly developed for residents to tell us their support needs and we re-engineered existing support services to form a one-stop help hub to assist residents who had to isolate. The forms we designed were based on early interactions with residents and their needs. As the pandemic progressed, we used the feedback from our residents and also our voluntary sector partners to further iterate forms and our contact scripts. This not only ensured we continued to meet challenging needs of our residents, but it also provided a wealth of data and local intelligence that we were able to use. 
the utilisation of business intelligence is a key component in our desire to be agile, efficient and data driven at Blackburn with Darwin. How we manage data is important for us and to develop the TTI service, we were at the forefront of the continuing evolution of data distribution by the national team. We helped develop this from a simple email and a spread spreadsheet sent from central government to a self-serve Power BI tool. Using Power BI enabled large amounts of data to be handled quickly. The data for cases and local intelligence was coming from multiple platforms, both internally and externally. So we needed an approach to consolidate those sources and support faster decision making. Having visibility of those daily data sets provided our public health director with real time and person centred data. This intelligence highlighted the financial impact on those residents being asked to self-isolate as well and the potential for this to undermine the clear stay at home message. Therefore, in August, we collaborated with central government on a pilot resident financial help scheme for those asked to self-isolate. During the pilot scheme, the amount was trialled at £13 a day and our user research feedback helped shape the scheme for the rest of the country, including an increase in funding as it was felt that the amount was too low in the pilot. This led to a change nationally and a one-off support payment of £500 was established. Once again, the utilisation of the existing digital customer portal was the enabler to deploy digital self-serve forms for citizens that could apply for the financial support and we were able to produce the data required for the automated processing of payments. In order to do all of this, we needed a clear communication strategy to inform citizens of the TTI service with our key purpose of preventing, responding and supporting our citizens. We had to consider how we could prevent the spread of the virus and encourage local people to play their part within the TTI service and help us respond to the management of the local outbreaks. We needed to communicate our local action in response to local outbreaks, data and insight to prevent the further widespread virus, providing support to those citizens with COVID-19 and particularly those that were requiring to self-isolate through the established local and national systems and support networks. Previously, we had pointed to nationalgov.uk information, but we knew we needed to increase our local website content in line with our new TTI local intervention service. So we set up dedicated web pages and we iterated and simplified information on the website for all citizens. The establishment of virtual online support services and information were developed to engage with our local citizens that clearly explained who would contact them, how they would be contacted, what they would be contacted about, what they needed to do and how we would deal with data and more importantly what services were available to support them further. Key to our approach was the usage of our local 01254 number as opposed to a national 0300 number, which became a driving factor in our success for making local contact with citizens. In addition, we utilised our GovNotify SMS text platform service. We could send precursory SMS text messages from Blackburn with Darwin, advising the citizen we needed to speak to them. The SMS text message also provided links to all of the support available, such as our digital help hub and allowed citizens who had no digital access to speak to a local advisor. By the mid September, many other organisations had started to establish their own enhanced TTI services and requested our support to share best practice. We hosted a number of successful data workshops with Public Health England and council staff attending from a range of other local authorities and we shared all of our TTI service information with the local government association as well. Our TTI service model has been used as an exemplar by numerous other local authorities ac across the country who were keen to adopt our processes, methodologies and service structure. This included Knowlesley, Hertfordshire, Tameside, Luton, Bradford, Calderdale, Blackpool, Lancashire, Cheshire West and Cheshire, Waltham Forest, Camden, 
Nottinghamshire and Enfield. Our learning from this experience, which we also shared with other councils, is quite simply, where possible, always build and adapt systems with a citizen journey and user requirements in mind, as the pace of change was very fast, so keeping everything as agile as possible was essential for us. Our previous investment in our workforce in terms of agile skills proved hugely beneficial. Always start with a minimal viable product and iterate. Accurate and timely data is of paramount importance in a fast changing scenario. Spending time establishing data collection, reporting and analysis processes is time well spent, we believed. Our new software solution supported the transformation of services. As we developed new processes for the TTI service, collaboration tools such as Microsoft Teams were used to train staff virtually and Power BI was adopted to ensure real-time views of data. Utilising GovNotify SMS text platform to send precursory text messages advising our residents we needed to speak to them was well received and gave confidence to our citizens. Ads did the use of a local telephone number, with many citizens stated that they answered the phone as it was a local number. It's critical we provided straightforward information to residents, working towards GDS design principles. Whilst digital first is our ethos, it was also important to use a blended approach in terms of digital, face-to-face -face and telephony, especially as a lot of our citizens, no matter their normal circumstances, were finding the current pandemic situation very difficult to deal with. Sometimes offering a friendly voice down the phone lines was enough to lift the spirits of local citizens and let them know that they weren't alone. Considering the human aspects of learning from citizens was key because we were always seeking feedback which helped to contribute to our further iterations. Our ability to collect thoughts and views of our citizens was also in essential in us gathering local intelligence. So to understand the residents' experience of our service and their journey whilst accessing it is of vital importance because it will help you to build a better service. Our participation in government pilot scheme for financial support to residents who were isolating also shows that you can actually make a difference. Our involvement and feedback inform the scheme for the rest of the country. The success and the benefits of the Track, Trace and Isolate service enabled us to increase the percentage of citizens that we contacted and advised to isolate. Since the start of the local TTI service, over 2,600 contact tracing cases have been devolved to Blackburn with Darwin, and we have successfully made contact with 85% of those. 80% of our residents accessing support stated they did not have to leave their home at all during their isolation period, thanks to the holistic help hub services and the ease of accessing them via our digital customer platform. Us offering a TTI service that operated seven days a week maximised our ability to contact citizens as well as them to receive the support that they needed 24 7 seven days a week and those services covered a range of support from organizing deliveries of food and essential supplies to providing information advice and guidance and also making regular well-being phone calls over three and a half thousand citizens across blackburn with darwin have contacted the help hub with some form of support since july 2020 demonstrating the level of need caused by the pandemic. Our success with the Help Hub as a service is reflected by the willingness for citizens to share their experience with us. 90% of our citizens who used our services agreed or strongly agreed that the Help Hub made them feel that they were not alone during the crisis. Utilising the GovNotify SMS text platform to send text messages um, was hugely beneficial to our local communities, as was establishing the dedicated web pages where we perpetually iterated and simplified information for all our citizens, equally using our skills and ability to work with central government to agree proactive changes to national data sets. 
was of benefit to better inform our ongoing approach to the pandemic. It was successful in that it was agile. We used service design methodologies and this enabled significant change and at pace. As Blackburn Redarland was one of the very first organisations to go live with the test and trace and isolate service, many other organisations had the benefit of learning from us and sharing our good practice. We provided our service design models, processes, data configuration, as well as our frequently asked questions with all people that requested them. We are proud that during a national public health emergency, we could create a new local test and trace and isolate service in such a short space of time and support so many other organisations in the process with the use of our technology. And at the heart of this was providing support and essential services for the citizens of Blackburn with Darwin Borough.